Well, hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome to episode 156 of OPTV. Uh, what a week it's been. Uh, some crazy weather we've had. Started with a lightning storm uh, Monday, which went all the way through the morning. Some amazing pictures online. So in South Australian news, uh, there was a clearance rate of 78%. That was from 35 auctions last weekend. Uh, and also uh, 388 properties selling last week. So certainly the market is still in good form uh, if you're looking to take advantage of the spring marketplace. We're here at number 16, Cudmore Terrace at Henley Beach, one of our latest listings, uh, just filming that. You'll see that online next week. Uh, but also we've got a number of other properties. We've got 23 Lajola Avenue in Fulham, an incredible corner site, great opportunity for a renovation investment or a credible development opportunity subject council consents. Also number 19, Milton Avenue in Fulham Gardens. Uh, that property going to auction in the first week of December. Great size allotment, again, a great investment, uh, renovation or development opportunity. Uh, we also have apartment 707, so 16 whole fast promenade. That's in the Pier Hotel, top floor penthouse. That's priced at 1.4 million. Uh, we also have number 20 Maple Avenue in Royal Park. Uh, that's priced at 575 going to auction in a few weeks time guys also got a great unit at number four slash 118 cv road at henley beach uh, that's a really well priced unit only footsteps from the the beautiful foreshore there at henley guys many more properties check out website for more information just in this week, Walker's Corporation's Festival Plaza is a go-ahead. The $600 million building has just got the green light. The latest changes to the proposed 108 metre high office tower and retail building have been committed by the government architect for creating a welcoming arrival to the precinct. So guys, a very exciting development for Adelaide. Uh, check out the link below for all the details. This week, we're checking with Taylor for Let's Talk PM to find out the latest in Australian data insights. In this week, Let's Talk PM, we have collated some market insights for the rental market with both statewide and Charles Sturt Council specific stats on median lease prices. In addition to this, for a much broader insight and more detailed report on the overall property market, we have included a housing market update for Adelaide provided by CoreLogic. An article in the Advertiser this week by Patrick James talks about Swimply Pool Sharing app ready to make a splash, but don't get in over your head. South Aussie homeowners are ready to embrace US pool sharing app, but experts warn against diving straight into the deep end. Already operating in 36 states across the US, Swimply is also operating in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, and hosts charging up to $80 per hour for strangers to use their pools. Currently in SA, two pools, one in Flagstaff Hill, another one in Greenwith have been listed Guys, the first for SA, very interesting read, check it out. Guys, and other great news, Debbie Theatre was announced at Save this week uh, as the North South Corridor plans have been revealed for the biggest infrastructure project in South Australia's history. Revealing the roadway will include two tunnels, as well as the lowered surface motorways costing an estimated 8.9 billion. The project, which will create up to 4,000 jobs, will be delivered in two stages, the final budget released at the end of 21. Guys, an amazing read, check out that article. Guys, also this Sunday, uh, the Christmas pageant's going to be on. Uh, that's the National Pharmacy's Christmas pageant. Since 1933, the National Pharmacy's Christmas pageant has grown to become one of Australia's most cherished events, celebrated every November in support of National Pharmacies and a South Australian Tourism Commission's event. It hosts over 3,000 costumes, 270 clowns, 33 dance groups and 160 moving theatrical sets. Guys, so head on down there this Sunday. Uh, also, today is World Kindness Day, so be kind. Uh, and if you're thinking property, think Oz property, let's talk. 